Arundel is over. We ended the year and it gets really busy at Arundel. Lots of fans. Good year. Had its ups and downs. Lots of body panels we had to replace and some other metal that we had to fix. But overall, we still evolved this year. We had a lot of good things take place for us um, partnership wise throughout this year at the beginning and throughout the whole year. Can't complain with that. Yeah, we would want to see higher results um, on the racetrack. We just need more seat time. So we are going to put into action a really good plan for next year and just get more and more seat time. And that will be our main focus going into this following year for 2020. We're also going, we already have the car to go practice with, which we barely had finished at the beginning of last year. And then it just like, rolled straight into the year and it was just non-stop i guess it'll always be that way but we have like a better foothold of what we're gonna do and like we're not trying to do anything new we're just gonna go practice but we're not building any other cars this year we're gonna rebuild big blue like we do in the off season we're gonna keep the change is minimal. We did a lot of good improvements last year, like rewire it, do a new cooling system, change uh, a little bit of how the rear of the car was, change the engine bay a little bit. So this year we still have a list of little things we're gonna change, but it's much smaller than last year. Something that we could kind of accomplish in a two week span of the car being apart and then start reassembling it. Good thing is, it's always loud. Good thing is, the new livery we're doing right now is two weeks away from being unveiled. Today is marked two weeks. SEMA is in two weeks. We have 13 days to finish it and get it to SEMA because we got to be there the day before. With that being done early, we won't have to think about the livery. We won't have to wrap the car again, so that's a plug. That happens now. Let's just focus on getting that done now, and then thinking back on the year, I'd say it was a positive year. Renee also has a lot of positive things. She's gonna talk to you guys in a little bit about it. We're excited for a bigger partnership coming up this year. That'll be included in the livery unveil. We'll tell you guys more about that as it happens. But right now, there's the car and I gotta take it completely apart again. No, just the body panels apart. Drive line will stay in there for now, but we had this happen where it just got smacked into the wall. And gonna take all these panels off. The door can stay on, but I gotta take parts of the door off. Lots of work, guys. Got some a new hood from Saibon. Gotta put that on. This one's not in bad shape, but we got a brand new one for SEMA to make it look all beautiful. So I'm gonna get to work starting to dismantle the car, and then I'll do a little bit of filming so you guys can see me take it apart. I gotta clean up some stuff on the inside too. Then we will update you as much as we can. I'm not gonna show you the new livery till it actually happens. So we'll see what we do with that part because I can't give it away. All right, talk to you guys soon. We kind of skipped a day, but look at what happened while you were gone. Complete car again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not part of it. Fresh side on. Everything's all beautiful back here again. Might need to trim that a little bit. Going to. 
Still need to connect that. We had to cut the holes. We're not done with that. And mount the hood pins. Not done with that. But body panels. Ooh, and fresh 98s. Because we need to have it like perfect when it's in the gear wrench booth. Ooh, and I see chrome. Chrome looks good. Renee's all serious right now. Oh, now she's taking over all. It's her video now. <laughs> Post Steema. Ooh, look, another super over there. But I like this one too. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I gotta mount a wing back there. Big wing. Take panels on and off while we're in wraps and clean everything up really good back there. It's darker blue, huh, guys? What do you think? Like Midnight Official? Yeah. The Midnight? Like the band? Ah. Ah. It's kind of quiet. Everyone's so serious, so we'll just get back to it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Synth wave? Uh huh. Yay. There's a lot of nice carbon bits when I look around. Saibon. Cody Phillips Dash, Saibon. Soon there'll be an APR wing and splitter. And yeah, more stuff coming. Talk to you guys soon. All right, so I brought my color proofs out in the shop area and I'm actually laying it out on the car, making sure that this whole vision is coming together and I'm still getting that effect that I'm shooting for with my original concept and theme of kind of like Blade Runner, Cyberpunk City, like wanted to get that whole like even Miami Vice kind of feel to all of it. So, and I thought that was a really great way to um, introduce Gear Wrench in this new color and you know, be able to represent the partnership that uh, we have growing with them. So we have, um, few things here. This color is kind of what I was looking for. I stood like all different areas around the shop to see if it was still popping. Um, I think it is enough and these colors still accent what's going on up here. So I'm really happy with that. And this orange on here, this is just to get that printer running correctly. I think I kind of told you guys about that because the laser was acting up because it reflects off the silver chrome. Anyway, so ignore that left ribbon there, but this is the orange that's going to gradate off into just exposed silver chrome. But right now, I've got the orange. This is not the same size logo, but a sample like color proof of the right Pantone color we're shooting for. Um, I have that against here because I wanted to see how having that there will really pull orange from the chrome there. So, and we're gonna have a little bit of that. Also on this uh, front fender, the back part of the front fender there. I think overall I'm really happy with how it's coming together. Like this is just how I do it. I need to, it's like a good and bad thing, but I can, having just samples out like this and kind of imagining and trying to visualize, see if I'm still on track, that seems to help me bring it all together so that it's one cohesive piece. I think that's kind of it, just wanted to kind of just wanted to share this part with you guys so you can see how this whole wrap comes from nothing and turns into something that hopefully that hopefully all of you guys like. Okay, I think from here I have one more thing that I wanted to test. So on the actual wrap, this logo will be on top of straight silver chrome. I have like a white outline that will be around each letter here. So I wanted to see if I have made that outline thick enough and if it's still gonna pop off of the silver chrome. Silver chrome's tricky because obviously anything's going to reflect on there. With like a colored chrome, it's everything's a little more muted, but silver, you can see how you're getting like that harsh white or you're getting a deep black. So that's what makes it so great, but it's also what um, I'm trying to stay aware of as I put uh, different logos and stuff on top of it. Like, here's a perfect example. Last year, I did not have this white behind the Nexen logo, and it just got lost with that purple against the silver chrome. So then I added this white layer behind it, and I'm trying to achieve that same boldness with our logo here. So obviously, this isn't cut to shape yet. This is just straight off the printer and the laminator like you guys got to see. So this is just, um, I guess, some more, more steps in the process of how it's gonna come together. Okay, so I thought I was done, but then I got really excited, so I wanted to share more. <laughs> so I cut out the D, just did like a rough white outline as I hand cut it and put it against the silver chrome and it pops even with like shaded area. Um, I'm really happy with it. This is just on baby blue, but I strictly just wanted to see the color with a white stroke around it against the silver chrome. So this is just literally pasted on here for now. And baby blue has more of a silver chrome door from the this year's livery, 2019. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. 
and no, the car is not going to say dad. I just put it on this side because I wanted to see it in a shadow and see if it like blacked out uh, the rad at all. So we're in luck, super excited about this. So it is Monday night at 10.50 in the evening. <laughs> um, I got to work with George over the weekend like you had seen, um, got some prints out. Uh, finalized a couple more things yesterday and then now I have everything like set and um, got all of my like production files ready so I just spent a lot of time making sure that that was nice and clear and organized for George based on the different applications on each file so in like the quantities different things like that it's always easier when I like well, I can appreciate when someone will organize their files properly anytime you're going into production with something and at the same time like if he's trying to get a hold of me or something like that on Thursday or Friday or Saturday that's really tough to do when we're at the track so just kind of juggling everything but yeah I was just sitting here thinking about how I didn't I figured it was something I should include so you guys kind of know what goes into all of it and it always comes across with any project without like behind the scenes stuff it always comes across like it's a little more simple than what it really is so not that it's difficult just takes a lot of time and attention if you really want it to go smoothly and with this type of stuff it can easily get very mixed up so it's important to just take as much time as needed at the very beginning it's not something you can rush through it's part of the reason why I do it like at the end of the day also because <laughs> get all my other stuff done and then um, I'll focus on everything that really needs like my undivided attention. So Dan um, went home a couple hours ago but he always comes in a couple hours. I should say he comes in normal time. I come in a little later just knowing that I work better at night so sometimes it works, sometimes he hates it, most of the time he hates it. But um, anyway that's it for tonight so stay tuned. So thanks for taking a look at this guys and I'm excited to see the final piece. Hey everyone, so it's been a few days since I got back on camera. I don't know where we kind of left, last left off. Got all that, so that's like the beginning stages. Sorry, it's a mess in here. Got all of these here, super excited and very anxious to just get these on the car and see it all come together. Um, let's see, so today I got to lay first panel of vinyl. Let's see, we got silver chrome going as the base. So pretty. And then, um, kind of what I did, I don't think I shared this with you guys yet. What I've done is kind of mapped out the layers and what I'm gonna do step by step, it'll just guide me so that I know like here I can actually wrap the entire door, the silver chrome, and then this door panel of blue chrome will go on net, and then after that I line that I angle up with this blue chrome back here. But I believe before I do that I need to actually wrap the B pillar and the roof. So this is kind of like something where I'll stare at the car, stare at the art, and um, actually plan out how I'm gonna go through it in stages. I think that just for time purposes, SEMA in general, there's a lot of preparation that goes on, whether you're bringing a car or not, um, just to kind of work into your next race season. So I'm kind of juggling all of that right now. Everything's moving really fast, but it's a lot of fun that way. Um, I do work better under pressure, but this is gonna be a lot. So I may or may not end up getting to bring in a few of our friends that'll help me um, with certain parts on the car. I just have to kind of get the main design laid out, but I think if they come along, kind of being able to interpret what I have in mind, this will help out in that. So, got a time lapse going, and I think I'll try to break it down by steps with you guys. All right, we'll see how it turns out. I'm excited to bring you guys along with me in this. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. Moving right along, coming together, so far so good. Um, actually getting more done tonight than I thought I'd be able to. And I'm so excited, I'm moving on to 
that direct printed chrome. I have to open these up and really see what I have going on here. I have a couple of files that I had output with this part, but um, yeah, I didn't want to wait for this. So I'm really excited to get it. I'm using a new ghost glove from Montreuil right now. Pretty cool. Also busted out a fresh squeegee flexible one that I'm going to use for this part just to try to keep the roof of the chrome nice and fresh. All right, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, so it is the end of the day and I got a good amount of work done today on the driver's side. Still have some left, of course, but I really love how it's coming together. It's always so satisfying to know that it's working out. There's always something where you kind of have to improvise a little bit, but problem solving is part of what makes it fun in the end, <laughs> once you have it figured out. But by now, you guys have already seen the car and I'm hoping you guys are loving it but I am just so infatuated with this printed material and the colors that are taking place here. It's really hard to capture this on camera. I'm standing um, at the corner of the shop and it comes across like the true orange, but I think, I think anything that's on the roof is always a little tricky because whatever um, ceiling it's covered by is what we'll be reflecting. So especially when it's chrome or metallic, I've just found different results that way so it'll be really cool to see when it's outside or even under the lights which you guys have already got to view but thanks for tuning in and um i just time lapsed most of today obviously uh it was the easiest thing for me to kind of just keep working but that's kind of what this video is for so you guys can see kind of behind the scenes how it did all come together and one big puzzle the way i do it <laughs> But thanks for tuning in and watching. Let me know if you guys have questions and or if you have any pointers. I'm sure you guys have some things you can share with me. A lot of what I've learned has been from other people, just little things here and there, but I know that there's so much more because I don't do this that often. Although this year it seems like there's been a bit of it, but I'm, I'm loving it. Like it's 11.20 right now. And when I'm doing this, probably because it's like my first day doing it, so I'm not that tired yet, but when I'm doing it, I'm it's one of those things where I don't even realize what time it is. I just keep being like, keep on going on to um, the next step and wanting to see what the next part looks like. So I just, I really enjoy this. It's so satisfying and it's kind of cool to see how the car looks different um, every time we go into it. So it's pretty cool. I love, I love the variety. I'm so excited for 2020 we'll still have baby blue with 2019 livery and right when we think we really love something on the cars we are like oh wait but wow look at this I love this and it happens almost every year I think um, 2018 was in 2018 Dan was like this is my favorite livery and then we had 2019 with like kind of the poppy silver and blue chrome and um, he was just like, definitely this one, and he's sad to see it go. And then when I was installing tonight, um, he just loves all the colors on it. And we're so happy to um, just be representing Gear Wrench this way. And um, this, is, this is a first for us as far as being able to really represent a partner like this. And we're so fortunate that they've embraced the Rad Industries brand and they still allow us to really promote um, all the reasons why you guys kind of tune into here and we get to share everything else that's a part of the program with you um, along with that so yeah thanks for watching you guys um, stay tuned so the car is coming right along I'm kind of finalizing up the driver's side um, I only got to work on it a little bit today a little later in the day so got my cup of coffee I'll be set to go for the night um, but yeah, I have like one other nice little like orange shape to put um, in the front and then I'm getting ready to do the actual rad logo here. So I'm really excited to see this part so that 
I can see how like all the colors will kind of come together and come into play. Um, yeah, from after that, I obviously need to do the passenger side. Um, I still kind of want to do something with the hood. I haven't decided quite yet. I do that every year for some reason. I leave the hood till the very end. Um, I just feel like it's such a central part. I might just keep it nice and clean with exposed carbon, but uh, we'll see. So after this part, the majority of it will just be sponsor logos and um, finalizing some things, but yeah, glad you guys can see it come together. Cars are needy. Just constant work. And we think you guys like them too. <laughs> uh, probably most of them like them. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's go check out what Renee's doing. Looks so cool. Tomorrow we'll have the rims on it too. Look at that. Here, and she's going on the hood. Big moment. Yep. You know what's cool? We get a big sponsorship with a company we like, and you can be proud of every bit of it. Cause like, imagine you get a big giant sticker of something you're not into, but you have to pretend you like it. That would be hard. We don't have to do that. What do you guys think of this? Everyone was being skeptical, thinking, oh, that was our favorite year yet. But guess what? This year can be your favorite year yet with the livery. Well, you guys will need to see when that's all the way on to take it into full effect. We'll show you soon. Maybe tomorrow morning. So proud. Okay. That's all for now. Slow going over here, but we'll get it done soon. A couple days ago. Thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing the background to um, how Dan's liveries come together. It's been fun sharing it with you. Um, we always keep that kind of like on the down low I guess right before our season starts because we wait for an unveil. So I've never really taken the time to um, capture how it comes together. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, I wanna say thanks again to starting off with Christina from Curvaceous Wraps. She helped me with the renderings um, from the very beginning, just kind of for presentation purposes, getting the realistic chromes in Photoshop. She's a super talented artist. Um, and then couldn't have done this without Montreux Supply. Um, they make it so easy for us considering that they um, distribute multiple manufacturers. If you guys need any film, vinyls, all of that, check out Montreux. Um, I think they just redid their website too, so good stuff. Thank you guys. And um, huge thanks to Boss Wraps um, for just pulling through with the prints and getting the colors just right. Uh, learned a little bit more about different color modes that I didn't know about before, so George's not only supplying us with the prints we need, but just taking that extra effort to really um, make sure to get the best that we can out of everything. Um, same here. He also taught me a trick. Like, I guess um, some of the laminate will be a little spotty. I didn't catch any of that on video. I was like, George, what's up? What's going on? He's like, just heat it up. Just heat it up or put it out in the sun. So he knows all the different tricks. Uh, really appreciate it. So um, let's see. The only thing we have left to do is, I kind of overlooked the fact that we were putting a fresh Cylon hood on Baby Blue. 
So uh, I finished wrapping this hood yesterday and then just have to um, finish off the decals on the hood and then we will be all set for SEMA. We need to get these cars cleaned off and dusted. We've got the shop all over them right now. But um, that's it guys, thank you, bye.